say it definitely taught me a lot about Turkish culture, working with students. Um, that was definitely good. Uh, I really enjoyed talking to students about their day and kind of what they did and then find out their ideas about some of the things I do um, and you know some of the things they thought were kind of strange. I remember I drew a picture of Santa Claus the other day and they thought it was really funny. Mostly my drawing skills but <laughs> there were certain things we talked about that I was surprised about. Um, and I definitely have a lot of patience with the students and I think that was something that was really beneficial. It's, you know, learning how to pace myself a lot better, um, especially when you're talking to someone who doesn't speak English as a first language, so it's, it's really difficult for them. Um, and I think those were some of the things that I gained. Uh, do you think that being a conversation circle leader has an impact on your career? Um, I definitely think there were some skills I gained from doing this. Like I said before about interacting with the students and um, using patience and learning how to pace myself when I'm talking about certain things and really um, using questions that are uh, a little more open as well um, when you're interacting with people. Um, so I definitely think that's going to be beneficial career-wise when you're interacting with others. Um, yeah. um, suggestions I have for prospective conversation circle leaders. Uh, definitely, you know, patience is good. Um, pacing yourself is very good. Sometimes I talk way too fast when I'm just coming in and not realizing. Uh, it's like you switch over a little bit, you have to slow down a bit. Um, also, don't be afraid to ask about things you don't understand in culture or things that you know you want to learn about because then it makes it more fun for them because they're explaining things they're interested in and that they know a lot about that you don't know a lot. So you kind of become the student almost. Um, what suggestions do you have for prospective students? Uh, don't be scared of us. Um, don't worry, we don't get offended. You can ask hard questions. In fact, it makes it kind of fun, brings up cool topics, you know. Uh, if you want to talk about something in particular that you come in with, just tell us and be like, hey, I have a question for you. This is something cool I learned about the other day. Is this true? Uh, we'll totally love that. <laughs> um, I would say one of the most interesting, exciting experiences I had was when I had a ton of students come in one day. I had like seven in a day, which is more than you're supposed to, but they were like all friends, so I figured it would work out. And then we ended up talking about like what kind of movie monster they would end up being, and it was really funny, because we're going through and they're like, one was like, I'll be a werewolf, and everyone in the group was like, you're crazy. Another person, I'll be a zombie. <laughs> everyone in the group was like, that's insane. So it was really funny and exciting. Um, let's see, Amuse surprised me about the Turkish students. Uh, I would say... A lot of them were far more open than I expected because we were warned that they would be very quiet. But if you, you know, just engage them a little bit, they opened up pretty quickly, um, especially if you ask them questions about Turkish culture. Uh, so I was really happy about that. Um, and they were also very okay with making fun of me when I didn't know something, so that was cool too. Um, yeah. <laughs>